Hi everyone, this is Free Fall again. And in today's video, we're going to fix SSL and TLS issues uh, with a piece of software, what's known as IAS Crypto. So it does it all automatically. And this is a follow up from the last two videos I submitted, which was how to fix SSL and TLS config issues manually in the registry editor. So the reason I first of all covered the manual, uh, how to fix it manually, is number one, you can see exactly what IAS Crypto is doing, uh, what changes it's making in the registry editor. And secondly, if like myself, you like to keep your third party software down to a minimum, uh, then uh, fixing these uh, issues manually is perfect. And you, you know, you don't need IAS Crypto on your system then. So going back onto the Kali system, I'm just going to run an SSL scan of the Windows Server 2012 host. And you can see here, there's a highlighted number of issues. First of all, we have support for uh, SSL, uh, sorry, sorry, TLS version one and SSL version three, just here. And then we also have support for weaker ciphers. So you got RC4 there and you got triple des and you know, they, go, they go up here as well. So, with ISS Crypto today, we're going to use that software to automatically remove uh, the, all the uh, support for the weaker protocols and the ciphers too. I've already downloaded ISS Crypto and I'll put the link in the description below. And if we just open it up, you can see it's a nice clean uh, GUI and simply you just select the, uh, or deselect the ones you don't wish to support. So if we look at here, we've got support for T SSL version one and TLS version 1.0. So let's untick them. You've also got uh, for the ciphers, we need to remove support for RC4. So let's remove all of them. And there's your triple des here. So let's remove support for that. Well, we're there, we're gonna remove support for MD5 hashes and you can also remove support for SHA hashes if you want but I'm just going to leave that there. Now once you're happy with all your changes click apply and it just uh, tells you you need to restart the system. Okay so while I'm restarting I'll just pause that and come back once it's finished. So I've just restarted the server now Logging back into 2012 server. Now, if we run another SSL scan on the 2012 host, you can now see that all the previous findings or uh, issues have been removed. So we're now only supporting SSL at wrong TLS version 1.2 and uh, 1.1. And you can see that we've removed support for the weaker ciphers. So the RC4 and triple des have also gone. And finally, we're left with only uh, support for ciphers 128 bits or higher. Now, if we go back to the 2012 server and just uh, run reg edit, check the registry editor. What you'll be able to see in the S channel is find it. Here we go. Okay, so now in the registry editor, having a look at the ciphers, you can see now that AES128 and 256 have been enabled and support for weaker ciphers, the value has been set to zero. So that's what IAS Crypto has done it's basically made changes to the registry editor, either enabling, like we've got here in these two, or disabling the weaker ciphers. It's also done the same for protocols here. So you'll remember that we disabled SSL version 3 and TLS version 
1.0 so then them changes have been made here so disabled by default one and enabled zero so that's turned off and the same for the server but if we go to tls version one or 1 1.2 you can see that it's not been disabled and here it's set to enabled so support for ssl version tls version 1.1 and 1.2 are enabled and that in a nutshell ladies and gentlemen is ias crypto great piece of software if you uh, want to save yourself some time from manually making changes in the registry okay well that's about it so thanks for watching i'll see you again soon